a very colorful morning to all my dear students of class 10 of both the sections jasmine and rose once again i am back with the chapter number 4 that is uh, from the diary of annie frank from your textbook the first flight now students as i have told you in my first class also and in my last class i have completed part 2 of this chapter today i will begin from part 3 of the chapter okay that is from page number 52 i will start explaining to you page number 52 53 and 54 so you follow my explanation and before i proceed on to explain to you this chapter let me give you the reminder of putting the attendance in the comment box as all of you all know that we the teachers are keeping a record of the attendance so in the comment box you put your attendance now you follow my explanation from page number 52 of your textbook first flight now students you look into the first paragraph of page number 52 saturday 20 june 1942 dearest kitty our entire class is quaking in its boots the reason of course is the forthcoming meeting in which the teachers decide who will move up to the next form and who will be kept back half the class is making bets g n and i love ourselves silly at the two boys behind us c n and jacks who have staked their entire holiday savings on their bet from morning to night it's you are going to pass no i am not yes you are no i am not even g's pleading glances and my angry outbursts can't calm them down If you ask me there are so many dummies that about a quarter of the class should be kept back but teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on earth what do the first paragraph of page number 52 mean on june 28th in the year 1942 Annie begins writing in her diary addressing it as her friend Kitty. She mentions how her entire class is nervous about their results. It is unpredictable and will be decided by a meeting of teachers in which they will select students to be moved to next class or kept back. Many students were making bets some had put in their entire summer savings at stake she and her friend g also made fun of the nervous boys they kept on saying to each other that i am not going to pass while others would console them and say yes you would g was polite as she tried to stop them from making noise while annie scolded them but none of it worked according to annie about a quarter of class should not be allowed to pass because they hardly respond or take part in any of the activities she refers to them as dummies but this may not be the case because teachers decisions cannot cannot be predicted now students you look into the second and third paragraph of page number 52 I am not so worried about my girlfriends and myself we will make it the only subject i am not sure about is maths anyway all we can do is wait 
until then we keep telling each other not to lose heart i get along pretty well with all my teachers there are nine of them seven men and two women mr kissing the old foggy who teaches maths was annoyed with me for ages because i talked so much after several warnings he assigned me extra homework an essay on the subject a chatter box a chatter box what can you write about that i would worry about that later i decided i jotted down the title in my notebook tucked it in my bag and tried to keep quiet what do these second and third paragraphs of page number 52 mean the author says that she is not bothered about her friends because she is sure that they will pass the only thing subject that she is unsure about is mathematics she seems to be having a tough time with the subject but all they could do was wait for the results and not lose their hope she tells how she has a great relationship with all her teachers except the maths professor he was constantly irritated by the author's talkativeness despite several warnings and he did not stop talking in his classes which prompted him to give her extra homework as punishment the first one was to write an essay on chatterbox which she thought was a weird topic to write on because what could one write about that for the moment she wrote the topic in her notebook kept it in her bag and focused on staying quiet students now you look into the last paragraph of page number 52 which continued on page number 53 that evening after i would finished the rest of my homework the note about the essay caught my eye i began thinking about the subject while chewing the tip of my fountain pen anyone could ramble on and leave big spaces between the words but the trick was to come up with convincing arguments to prove the necessity of talking i thought and thought and suddenly i had an idea i wrote the three pages mr kesey had assigned me and was satisfied i argued that talking is a student's trait and that i would do my best to keep it under control but that i would never be able to cure myself of the habit since my mother talked as much as i did if not more and that there's not much you can do about inherited traits what do this last paragraph of page number 52 mean the author came across the note she made as reminder for the essay after she had finished the rest of her homework she began thinking about the topic while chewing the tip of my fountain pen is a gesture that signifies a person is in deep thinking while anyone could mention random stuff written for the sake of filling pages she wanted to present concrete arguments in support of talking she mentioned that she will try to better herself as a student but talking is something that cannot be eliminated completely This is because she got it as an inherited trait from her mother and this is how she ended up writing 3 pages on the topic. 
Now students you look into page number 53 the paragraph that begins with Mr K Singh had a good laugh at my arguments but when i proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson he assigned me a second essay this time it was supposed to be on an incorrigible chatterbox i handed it in and mr kissing had nothing to complain about for two whole lessons However during the third lesson he would finally had enough any frank as punishment for talking in class write an essay entitled quack 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 said mistress chatterbox what does this paragraph of page number 53 mean The professor found Annie's arguments to be amusing but when she did not stop talking in the next lesson also he gave her yet another assignment as punishment the topic was an incorrigible chatterbox incorrigible refers to a bad habit that is difficult to change he gave her this topic because he was annoyed of her unstoppable chattering during his lessons on receiving this assignment the professor did not say anything to her for a while but when he lost his patience He handed her yet another assignment as punishment on the topic quack 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 said mistress chatterbox Now you look into page number 53 the second last paragraph the class road i had to laugh too though i would nearly exhausted my ingenuity on the topic of chatterboxes it was time to come up with something else something original my friend san who's good at poetry offered to help me write the essay from beginning to end in verse and i jumped for joy Mr Kissing was trying to play a joke on me with this ridiculous subject but I would make sure the joke was on him What does this second last paragraph of page number 53 mean When the professor scolded her for the third time and punished her the whole class started laughing as a result she had to pretend to be amused too after writing twice on similar topics she ran out of thoughts thus her friend san who was good at poetry offered to help her write in rhyme the whole assignment scenario was to make any feel ashamed but she made sure that she gave an effective reply now students you look into page number 53 the last paragraph that continued in page number 54 i finished my poem and it was beautiful It was about a mother duck and a father swan with three baby ducklings who were beaten to death by the father because they quacked too much. Luckily, Mr. Kissing took the joke the right way. He read the poem to the class adding his own comments and to several other classes as well. Since then I have been allowed to talk and haven't been assigned any extra homework. On the contrary, Mr. Kissing's always making jokes these days. Yours Annie extracted 
from the diary of a young girl with slight adaptation what does the last paragraph of the chapter that is on page number 53 which continued in page number 54 mean she finally wrote her third assignment in the form of a poem which turned out to be great she wrote a satire that her father swan bit his three baby ducklings to death because of their noisy nature to her good luck the professor took it lightly the professor recited the entire poem in front of the class while giving his own remarks simultaneously the author being fortunate enough talked uninterruptedly after this incident without any further homework as punishment also mr casing the professor started cracking jokes every now and then in front of the class so here ends the chapter so my dear students today i am concluding my class up till here if you have any doubts regarding the explanation part of the chapter you can contact me and you can clear your doubts and uh, another thing students if you like my way of teaching if you like my explanation then kindly su subscribe my channel okay thank you students and in tomorrow's class i will be giving you uh, the questions from this chapter so you keep your english copies and pens ready with y'all i will be giving you the questions from this chapter bye bye students stay safe